All right, well, this idea is either going to go down as uh, somewhat very smart or very stupid. I'm aware of those two distinct possibilities. Um, so here's the essential issue is that the DISA, um, as many of you all know, has the issue of this thing wearing down. And uh, when it's actually in here, uh, there's not supposed to be any of this play back and forth. But as you can see, there's a good bit of, of wiggle, which is the problem. So, um, of course, the vacuum does have to work, apparently, to make this happen. The replacement kits do uh, replace this as well as uh, this piece right here, um, as well as the pin uh, that you see right here that goes into the top uh, and some other stuff. So anyway, long story short, you know, you got to make sure the vac vacuum pump works um, and all that stuff first. But the whole idea is, uh, I think, that if I can put a little bit of Gorilla Glue um, inside here, then I can actually seal this off so that when it uh, finally seals, it can seal in the appropriate starting position. Uh, and if it doesn't work, I can just crack this off and you know, I might end up having to break these things, uh, but they're gonna be replaced anyway, or I just need to get a whole new DC in the first place. So um, first thing Gorilla Glue says is take a little bit of uh, water and just kind of tacky up, um, or sorry, it makes the surface tacky. So putting a little bit of water inside here, uh, as well as a little bit of water uh, around the edges of this thing right here just to kind of get it ready for uh, sealing. So I'm just doing that now. Nothing too spectacular or exciting. I'll try and keep this as brief as possible without rushing it and screwing it up. Um, then taking a little bit of Gorilla Glue and putting this inside here. And not a ton, I don't think I should use, um, just because it's not a ton of extra space in here, but I'm gonna kind of put it around the edges trying not to get it um, anywhere else and then a slight amount on the edge is actually going to touch um, the little plastic piece there it seals but Gorilla Glue expands and it also says that once it does seal it works just fine under extreme heat uh, and extreme cold so we're going to put that to the test and hopefully at least nothing will fall apart if it stops working that's fine and hopefully nothing will get sucked down into the intake manifold that's the problem so Anyway, uh, a little bit in there, and the whole idea is, again, having a little bit of it inside so that when it does, um, when I do put the other piece in there, you'll see what I'm going to what I'm gonna do here. Um, but that's that. Put the top back on here so it doesn't get all jacked up. Um, and now the precarious part. Essentially, i got to make sure this is in the correct position going inside here, all right, without uh, touching the glue to any of the surfaces if I can help it. This is going to be kind of tricky actually. Maybe with the, uh, the edge that goes down a little bit inside here first. I'm trying to keep this tight. So much for that. I definitely got some on it. Not a smooth process as you're seeing. Oh, this sucks. It's like a blooper reel. Anyway, um, yeah, the whole point is I'm trying not to let any of the Gorilla Glue leak down. So sorry for the, the waste of time here, but hang in there. All right, so now that this is um, in the hopefully correct position, <laughs> I need to pull this thing out of the way <clears throat> to get this to come down and seat in properly. And we're going to get this sucker inside. and tight. The whole goal is I want to make sure that none of the glue actually leaks out um, and makes this impossible to move. So I did not do honestly a great job of checking first. Um, that would have been a good idea. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to try and uh, again make sure this is sealed well. Sure, that's all the way in. All right, so I'm just going to get this to seat on top here. There we go. Coming down in. As far as I can tell, that's all the way in. The thing I'm concerned with now is, and we'll see how it goes, but I don't want any of the Gorilla Glue uh, to get down in between this little crack here. It's very hard to see. Um, I'm hoping that this 
the plug going in there actually um, seals against the, the bottom of this so it doesn't actually tacky up. So I'm going to kind of let it sit here. Um, again, as you can see, the whole idea is that it's, it starts open. And then as it moves, it's going to close and then come back. And again, hoping that seal is in there good. And the one thing Gorilla Glue will tell you is you really got to clamp this thing down well. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the pin on top. It's the notorious thing that comes out. So I wouldn't try and take it out and put it back in too many times and lose the, uh, the Loctite that's apparently on it. It did seem to be very hard to get back out again, so there seems to be plenty, making sure that's flush. In fact, I'm just going to kind of put this in here and just tap it down a little bit. Alright, so um, this is just a, a simple um, uh, Torx head. Alright, this is going to go in, in the bottom here. And uh, what I found was there was a little bit of play. Uh, first of all, I'm actually going to go ahead and take this Q-tip and remove and a little bit of Gorilla Glue that I got. I'm trying to put this in between here. Don't use a wet one because wet actually helps Gorilla Glue's glue seal. Try to make that good. here. It's kind of same thing on the other side, trying to make sure it's seeping through the edges here. I don't know if you can see, see, but you'll see it when you put it in there. It does seem to seal up against there pretty well, so I'm hoping that the Gorilla Glue leaked out in the insertion. Alright, and the whole point of this Torx head uh, being here is that, again, Gorilla Glue is supposed to be clamped. Um, but uh, it doesn't quite come up. I'm sure you can find a slightly longer one. I just had limited tools to access to. So what I'm going to do now is take a zip tie, pin it down, pin it over the top here. surface tension. This keeps slipping out, but it's all good. All systems go at the moment. Nice and clamp down. There you go. One last click. All right, so nice and tight now. Um, again, um, making sure that if I see anything coming out here, it must have been the seals, which I don't. I want to try and get rid of that. Um, but hopefully, 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 uh, that won't happen. And there's also there was a little hole. I don't know if you can see this here or not. There was a little hole right there. Um, I'm going to watch the Gorilla Glue coming out of that. shouldn't be too much of a problem if it just comes out onto the surface, but essentially uh, my biggest concern is that any of it comes out into the hinge here, um, as you can kind of hear wiggling around. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on that over time, let this uh, dry for 24 hours, um, and then give it a go. And uh, if it doesn't work, I'll definitely let you guys know, or I won't even post this video. If it does work, uh, hopefully it's just something that can give you an alternative to buying a $75 kit or a new um, diesel altogether if your vacuum still works and this isn't really jacked up and broken, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So, hope that makes sense, hope that helps, and uh, we'll see where it goes. And I'm already seeing, that sucks, I put it in the wrong way, um, so I'm going to have to pull this out and switch it around, but you get the idea. So, the end. <laughs>